Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought I would do kind of like a sick day in my life. Um, I think I'm coming down with like a cold. I've kind of had like a stuffy nose for like a few days and literally doing like the simplest things like makes me exhausted. Um, so yeah, so I thought I would just kind of do like a nice little sick day in my life. It also helps kind of to play into the fact of it's like raining and gross outside. So all the more reason to just have a nice chill day. Um, so I am, I am going to be doing some work because I can't just sit still. That's just not me. Um, <clears throat> and then I do have to make Nick lunch and take it to him. But, other than that, we're gonna, I think, maybe watch a movie this afternoon. Because that sounds really nice. So, right now, um, I am making myself some breakfast. I also need to empty out the dishwasher. So... We will do all of that in this. Oh, ah, there we go. Pot was stuck. So yeah, I do have some uh, work that I need to do. Um, I have a video going live in 15 minutes, which is so exciting. Um, and then I need to just edit a couple more videos for next week. So, yeah, that's, that's the deal right now. I need to empty out the dishwasher. Um, but yeah, so I, I thought it would just kind of be nice to, you know, since it's gloomy outside, I am just kind of like, for the most part, taking it easy and like chilling and I'm just gonna do some work this morning and then I think all afternoon I'm literally just going to like lay on the couch which I did that yesterday um I did some work actually I did the deep clean um and got that done and then me and Lucas went on a walk with my mom, and then I came back, and I was just so done. I just laid on the couch, and I just chilled for the rest of the day. And so I'm like, that oh. So, I, I think that's what we're going to do today, and I kind of want to watch a movie. So, and surprise, surprise... I want to watch a Harry Potter movie. I don't think I've said it on my vlogs, but I know I mentioned it on my podcast um, when I was answering questions. My favorite movie. Uh, my favorite movie is Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince. And I mean, growing up, me and my brother always. Like, every Saturday night, we would always watch a movie. And probably, like, nine times out of ten, it would be a Harry Potter movie. So, needless to say, Harry Potter, like, the Harry Potter series, is one of my favorites. <laughs> um, which, actually, me and my brother got matching Deathly Hallows. So, I guess, you know, it's safe to say that on a nice little sick day that we're just going to kind of take for ourselves more, I guess, more so in the afternoon, it's only fitting to watch Harry Potter. Am I right? Exactly. So, that's the deal. Um... So yesterday, me and Nick went to the store, and I was starting to run out of oatmeal, because I have it every morning for breakfast. 
So I got some more oatmeal and this time, cause Kroger always has them like three for five cause I just get the Kroger brand. And so this time I got a regular oatmeal, like the regular kind that I normally do, which is the maple brown sugar. Um, you can't see anything anyway. Um, but this time I also got a strawberries and cream one. So it's got like little pieces of strawberry in it and some type of cream. So I think I've had this one before. Um, they have another one that's peaches and cream. I'm not a, like I like peaches, but I'm not a huge fan of that oatmeal. Um, and then they also have an apple cinnamon one, which I've had that one. That one's not bad. Um, but I decided to just get, they have one that's like, um, what's it called? Like a bundle or like a mix of all three of those. And that's what I had gotten one time so I could try all three, see what I liked. And the peaches and cream I didn't like. The apples and cinnamon wasn't bad, but the strawberries and cream, I think, was my favorite. So, I got one of those. So, I'm having, I'm mixing it up today. Instead of doing my regular oatmeal, I'm doing strawberries and cream oatmeal. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to eat this um, in the office. My video goes live in 10 minutes, so then I have to get that out so people know um and then yeah i'm going to edit i think i'm going to record a podcast i think i have a podcast that like idea that i want to um record so i'll record that get that up hopefully today as long as i do end up recording so <clears throat> which if you guys are watching these videos and also listening to my podcast if you have like ideas for like podcast topics that you want me to talk about um, that you're either interested in or you would just, you know, like me to talk about, let me know. Comment down below um, what you would like to hear. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. Hi guys, welcome back to Life with Elizabeth. Today I wanted to talk about my biggest challenge that I've overcome regarding my mental health. So it's been a little bit. Um, I didn't end up um, editing any of the videos. I spent the morning doing my podcast. I recorded an episode. It's actually exporting right now. And then I'm going to upload that. Um, so yeah, I just ended up recording um, a podcast episode. And um, yeah, I'm doing that. So I didn't end up editing at all. Um, I just made Nick's lunch. So I am going to be taking that soon. It is currently 11.30. Um, and I'm actually going to pick up coffee for both of us on my way. So we're going to leave a bit earlier. Lucas is just staring at me. What's up, buddy? So, yeah, so I just have to do that. So, we'll see how I'm feeling afterwards. Um, the past couple days, I'm like okay in the morning, so like I can, you know, get work done and stuff. I'm still like super tired, um, but I can at least, like, you know, still kind of like work out at least do something and then um, you know get some work done edit and stuff and then 
in the afternoon come like one or two I like hit this wall and I'm just like oh my word I'm so exhausted oh my battery is about to die that's cool um so yeah so we're gonna leave here in a little bit um go pick up some coffee and then take lunch to Nick so yeah I just thought I would pop on really quick and give you guys like a little update of what's going on so I will see you when when we get back from uh, taking lunch over. So, yep, so that's what's next. And then um, when we come back, we'll f figure out how we're feeling. And we might just edit tomorrow and then just kind of chill out for the afternoon and watch a movie or something. But we'll see what we end up doing. So that's it for now. I will be back to you guys in a little bit. Who is it? Yeah. Who is that, buddy? Hi guys, so I'm back. Um, it was really nice he was able to come in the car for a little bit. Um, Lucas always loves that. He misses him. Um, so yeah, I think I decided that I am going to watch a movie and then maybe edit and do some more work. I did post my podcast episode so that's live um and it's my biggest challenge with um mental health that I've had to overcome um so go check that out um go check out my podcast if you haven't already um I'm actually I'm really proud of the podcast I'm really proud of this channel too um but I'm really proud of uh, my podcast and just how vulnerable I'm being and have decided to be. Um, so yeah, I I think I'm going to watch a movie, drink my coffee, um, and I I like Big B the best, so I got a, high, a hot coffee, um, Nick got an iced coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm going to watch a movie, I think... I might put my glasses on, which I was talking to my mom the other day because I was like, okay, so I got new glasses. I really like them, but I'm, I feel dizzy every single time I wear them. And like, I know like it's changed prescription from my last glasses, but I was like, my contacts are the same. Like it's the same as my contacts. So why, what, it doesn't make sense. Um, and she told, she told me, well, it could be because you have a slight stigmatism and that could be why you're feeling dizzy. And I was like, that makes sense. So I'm trying to, because I really like them. So I'm trying to get my eyes adjusted, but I like wearing my contacts better. However, one, I need to get my eyes adjusted to those glasses, um, and two, I need to, well, I want to, um, I think, take out my contacts just because my eyes are kind of, like, bothering me. And I'm just, like, so exhausted right now. So, yeah, I definitely have a little bit of some type of, like, cold sinus thing going on. But nonetheless, we're getting through it. And, um, yeah, so I think the plan of action is to watch a movie and then we will edit and do some work. And I will say that's one of like the joys of, you know, working for yourself, working from home is you can do this, you know? Like if you, if you aren't feeling the best at 12.30 in the afternoon, take a break, watch a movie, and then get back to it afterwards, you know? So I will say that I have been more- Sorry, I don't understand. 
Because I wasn't talking to you, Siri. Why does it do that sometimes? Sometimes my Apple Watch, like Siri on my Apple Watch will just all of a sudden start talking to me and I'm like, I, I didn't say your name. I wasn't talking to you. Anyway, um, but yeah, I think since like, you know, like being home all the time and working for myself and stuff, I have kind of learned to adjust and in some regards listen to my body. Um, I think I still do push myself a little too much. Like I still worked out today, even though I probably should have like taken the day off and rested, but uh, baby steps. And, you know, I am, you know, at 1230 and super exhausted instead of saying, oh, but you still got to work. You have these videos to edit. I'm saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm going to sit and enjoy my coffee and watch a movie. I think I'm going to watch um, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Because that just, that just sounds good. And that was showing up on the TV. So, I think that's the plan. That's the plan for right now. We're going to take out our contacts, watch Harry Potter, enjoy our coffee, and then we'll edit or do something. So, yep. And then Lucas is over there just chilling with me. He'll probably fall asleep there. So, yep. That's the plan. I will... Probably pick you guys back up later. Probably after the movie. So I just finished the video to be completely real with you guys I might have fallen asleep you go outside buddy um which I normally I don't like to like take naps or anything during the day but I was just I was so tired and my my body needed the rest so I took a little nap and now actually instead of editing and doing work that we need to do, um, we are going to go to um, a store that one of my friends works at and she was like, oh I'm working today, Like, you should stop by and bring Lucas, it's dog friendly and I was like, okay sure I was like I'm watching a movie right now but afterwards bet I'll be there so we're going to go and see her so that is now the plan um yeah I've never been here like to where she works so I'm kind of interested to see like what it's all about I was researching it a little bit it's called Buff City Soap, and I guess they make their own soap. They have like soap and like shower stuff, bath bombs, um, but they all make it like in-house, I guess. I don't know. It's It seems really cool, so I'm excited to go check that out, see her, and take Lucas. So, he's just going to go potty first. And then we're gonna head out and do that and then and then we'll see what time we get back we'll probably edit before Nick gets home um, it is currently 3 10 so we'll probably get back latest 4 30 and Nick will come home in like an hour 
I don't know, we'll see. We'll either edit some today or we'll just scratch it and edit all day tomorrow. We'll see. So. Hey Lucas, do you wanna go for a ride? Do you wanna go for a ride? Come on, come on. You wanna go for a ride, buddy? You wanna go for a ride? Oh, so I woke up to Lucas barking at somebody that was knocking on our door. So then I was trying to get him to be quiet so they would go away. Cause you know, you don't answer those doors or those um, knocks. So anyway, so that's the plan now. We're gonna go um, see her, check out this place and come back and figure it out from there. So I'll probably, I'll probably end um, the video when I get back. I might get some clips there. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So that's the plan. Are you waiting on me? He's waiting for me. So gotta go. Hi guys. So we're back and actually, because I know you're going to hear it, over by um, Buff City Soap, there was this pet people. So it says, bad dog jacks, old canine, I got a pee, whiskey. Um, and then on the back it says, support your local shelter. And Lucas loves it, mainly because, does it have a squeaker? Does it have a squeaker in it? Yeah. Do you love your new toy? But I wanted to show you I wanted to show you what I got from He's too cute. Um, so I got a few things. Um, okay, so first I got this Fruity Favorites lip balm. Little focus, there you go. So this one has four different flavors. It has a cheerful cherry, sassy citrus, carefree coconut, and then whimsical watermelon. So I opened the Whimsical Watermelon. I love it, I love the smell. Um, I've, never, I've never been to this store before. I think I said that before we left. So, um, and then I also got this uh, Foaming Hand Soap Slice of Fall. They have, so everything's like in-house made and they had this in like the bars and it smells like apple. And so I asked, I was like, okay, does this one, the slice of fall or um, the pumpkin spice smell better as like the hand foaming soap? And she said this one. So I trust her. Um, so we got that. So we're gonna try that. And then, because she's so sweet, um, she also added in, because they also have laundry detergent, so she added in, here, let's add some light. So she also added in a couple of soaps. So this one is lavender. Okay, so that one's lavender. And then this one's baking soda. So these are just um, like trial packs. Um, so just like one of these packets is like full thing, so put that in and that's the full thing. Um, but yeah, so that was that was really cool. It was really good to see her. Um, Lucas loved it. He saw a lot of people. Um, and then he also loves the fact that he got a toy. Huh, buddy? Are you happy with your toy? So, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, Sorry it was kind of like all over the place. It wasn't, 
you know, we ended up going and, you know, I took Nick his lunch and then we ended up going to um, see my friend. So it wasn't like a full, like, sick day in the life. Um, but, I mean, one, I'm not really, like, that sick. I just am feeling a little under the weather. But also, um, but also, you know, that's just kind of, kind of what it's like you know, not have, you know, like working for yourself from home and everything. And it's like, you know, I can do things like this. I can, you know, I can go take Nick his lunch and pick up some coffee. I can, you know, watch a movie in the middle of the day and take a nap, you know, if my body needs it. I can go visit my friend at work and, you know, have like a nice little time maybe, you know, spend some money that I probably shouldn't spend, but you know, it's all, it's all good fun. And, you know, it's nice to get out of the house every so often. Um, so yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's it for this video. Like and subscribe. Um, comment down below what you thought. Um, if you live in the, like, Toledo area, I think they have some other um, locations as well for Buff City Soap, um, go check them out. It's a really cute store and like a really cute thing. Um, you know, they make all the soap there in-house and then sell it. All of the lip balms, the soaps, they have like bath bombs, they have shower, uh, I think they call them shower fizzies, but it's basically like a bath bomb for the shower. They have, you know, like shower oils, detergent, all, they have so much stuff. So, go check them out. Um, you would think that it's, like, sponsored by them, but it's totally not. Um, it's just a cute little place. So, go check them out. And, Lucas just came in. Um, yeah, so, that'll be it for this video. Um... I will see you in the next one. I still need to figure out, like, a way to end my <laughs> vlogs. Um, I don't know. Oh, he got his toy. Is that your new favorite toy? It's like he's drinking it. Alright, anyway, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.